Ang ina. So, right in May, it sounds really weird. Really, really weird. But one thing is sure is that she is going to change the meta drastically because uh, she's a literal walking energy orb that also deals a ton of damage, which basically makes more energy hungry teams. Uh, basically more viable and makes ult spamming a cemented playstyle for Genshin Impact. If not already, it makes it more, uh, let's say easier. Yeah, it makes, e it makes it easier for ult spamming uh, playstyles to work in Genshin Impact. Okay, so I wanted to make this video to let you guys know about her kit as well as what she can offer in terms of energy recharge and utility. Now, I don't want to talk about damage yet because I am not sure if my numbers are correct. And I will also not show any images or videos of that which we will not speak of. But if you want to know what I'm talking about, please open that website that we all know and love where bees like to store their their their, their thing, you know? They, they store that stuff. It's sweet, it's yellow, um, you put it on some you put it on T, right? It's yeah. You should go to that site uh, because they just updated it. And so, uh, join me as we look at her ever so confusing kit and <laughs> see if you can follow along. Now, I only want to talk about her energy recharge and or how much energy recharge she is going to provide for her team because that's basically her her stick and that's the new gimmick that um, Mihoyo is implementing right now. And that's the whole point of her kit. I also want to say that please drizzle some salt on what you are consuming, especially this video, because beta stats are not reflective of the final product. And all her stats are going to change. Next is going to be some context. That's why you, that way you guys don't get confused about what I'm talking about, because I'm going to say the words energy recharge and energy regen and energy restoration. A lot because <laughs> it's 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 basically the point of her kit and and if I end up uh, making you guys misunderstood that then there's gonna be no point in the video so I'll be using the term energy restored for the amount of energy that Raiden May can give to her team okay and the word energy recharge is what I'm going to use for Raiden May's own energy recharge just so you guys don't get confused okay so let's get right into it straight into her burst because that's where her energy recharge is gonna come out from okay so her burst deals a large aoe damage that allows her to do electro damage with her basic attacks her burst also allows her to restore all her allies energy every time she hits something for the rest of its duration with a limit of five rocks Okay, basically if we take into account her level 10 energy restored, let's say it's, um, I'm guessing it's 2.5. So if we take that number and we hit 5 times, we get 12.5 energy recharge. And this 12.5 is also the amount of energy restoration that we get from just her ultimate. Okay, now she has two passives which are pretty simple but we'll talk about the energy regeneration and restoration passive only. Okay, so this one passive basically increases the electro damage and the energy restoration from her ultimate by, let's say, um, I'm guessing, well, I don't know the number, maybe it's 1% of <laughs> ER that May has passed over 100%. Okay, so if you don't know what that means, if you have 100% energy recharge on right in May, anything past that is what counts into this passive. For example, if I have flat 100% only and nothing more, then I won't get anything from that passive. But if I have 101% energy recharge for Raiden May only, then that 100, then that 1% is what's going to count into that passive. Okay, get it? So I made this little match sheet that basically tells how much energy she can restore for her team, and it's looking pretty good, honestly. Starting off, let's look over here. This is the amount of energy she can restore. Okay, restore with every 1% of energy past 100%. And calculated every 100% past the base 100%, so that's 200, right? And then 300, which is pretty doable. I know some of you guys out there are like running 300% 
<laughs> energy recharge on Bennett or 300% energy recharge on let's say Rosaria and Diona and maybe even Jean so this is pretty doable now this here I'm gonna highlight it okay this is each bit of energy recharge that Raiden May has past 100% and this is every amount of energy she restores corresponding to that extra 100% of energy recharge that she has okay finally this is the total energy she actually restores with her passive only okay so taking that into account if you read it into the uh, that, that website that I was telling you about it basically says 0.06 so if you multiply that by 100%, it's basically 60%. So 100% of 0.06 is 60%. And as I said, 100% because the 200% here is past initial 100% ER threshold. That's why I put 200 instead of 100. Because we're adding in the, the base. The base ER that she already has, which is 100. And then you can do the rest here and you can tell that there's like 100, there's 200%, which is 60 and then there's 300% which is 120 so that gives us a total of 15 actual energy restored with 300% of Raiden Mei's ER if you still follow then good <laughs> hopefully you can still follow because this is a mess so moving over here if you still follow what I say you can find here that Mei's burst mode and the amount of hits and the total energy that she can restore and here you can see that I added together the energy that she restores from her passive and the energy that she restores from her ultimate here we can see the amount of hits that she does and finally here we can find out how much energy she restores with her passive and her ultimate combined with 200 percent restoring 20 energy total okay that's including both the passive and the ultimate okay and 300 percent restoring 27.5 energy okay so 27.5 percent that's near 30 energy and that is pretty good comparable to the what now venti and kazuha regen but they themselves are a different type of regen regeneration strategy and offer a different type of playstyle. and also keep in mind there that this does not add into account everyone else's energy recharge rates and this energy bump doesn't just apply to her party because like I said before she has 300% energy recharge or 200% if you didn't make it now not only does she provide her team with chungus amount of energy she basically has her ultimate up the moment you swap back to her again so that means she's a really good battery and she's also going to be a really good burst DPS that restores your team's energy then no no drawbacks from that because well apart from she's electro but that's going to be the stick for electro archon herself right in may now we're not talking about her damage yet and her damage looks pretty good right comparable to eula's explosion but the problem here is her resolve stacks and this is what makes it weird because because of the fact that it's hooked onto the energy recharge of other party members and as well as it's also hooked to her own energy recharge <laughs> and it, it, it's, it's gonna hurt your head if you get if you if you end up trying to count it but she is going to be a really good sub slash burst support dps and that is going to be a really good unit for every kind of team that you have because she regenerates energy for your team and she also does a ton of damage so save some primos if you want to pull or kind of thinking of pulling for Raiden Mei if you're pulling for her because uh, waifu reasons then by all means just do it basically she's gonna help out every team possible with just her energy recharge alone and that doesn't even include her own damage and that's gonna be it for this uh, quick Genshin video I just wanted to show you guys how much energy she can regen and why I think that you might want to save your primo gems for her be sure to like and subscribe for my content and please comment down below your thoughts on Val after seeing her kit and what you guys think about her her energy recharge right she's really weird really really weird okay so anyways I'm gonna see you guys later and bye